Hey everyone, so I can't say I loved doing research on this next two minute term, but it actually brought a lot of insight I really didn't know about the term necrophilia. So as many of us believe, necrophilia is sex with a corpse, basically. However, a more detailed version of the word needs to be explained. So necrophilia comes from the versions of the word necro, meaning corpse or deceased, and philia meaning affection. So the broader view of the term necrophilia is finding pleasure from viewing the deceased, to arousal from touching of the deceased, to intercourse with the dead. So it's not just having sex with a corpse that brings pleasure to necrophilia. Some of them find pleasure just viewing a deceased, touching, smelling, being around, and it's many versions of pleasure. It may be comfort, it may be stimulation, um, so it's all different versions. In all my research looking into it, it is not so much a disorder, it's not a mental condition, it's more a fetish. It is something that brings pleasure to someone, just like people who like to suck on toes to bring themselves pleasure. Some people like deceased, they like viewing deceased, they like viewing things about deceased bodies, and that is what brings them pleasure. Some of it is having a person who can't reject them. It is that person, because they're deceased, is kind of willing in the mind of a necrophilia. So they can be next to them, they can touch them, they can hold them, they can have intercourse with them without them rejecting them, without them telling them no. And to them, that is what brings the pleasure and the comfort and the long-term gratification of having somebody that can't say no to them. One of the most well-known necrophiliacs in history of America is Karen Greenlee that we have heard about. Back in 1979, she stole a hearse and had sex with the deceased that was in the back of the hearse that she stole. She went to jail, she's in jail for this. Many books and movies were made about her escapades um, with the deceased and her sexual encounters with the deceased and how she got access to and contact with the deceased to be able to do this. You know, oftentimes in necrophilias, they put themselves in positions where they have access to the deceased, morgue workers, funeral directors and embalmers, um, transportation people, hospital workers, cemetery personnel, people in that nature, so they can get to the bodies a little bit more readily. Her story, she recounts some of these in a well-known um, excerpt. It's called The Unrepentant Necrophile, and it's about her necrophiliac interests, and she told a man named Jim Morton for his book, um, Apocalypse Culture. So you can check out that story and that excerpt about kind of her escapades if you want to, um, but it did get a little disturbing looking into a lot of this, but it is a fetish, it does exist, it's interesting, um, you know I love psychology, but this one was a little disturbing looking into. But that's a little more about the term necrophilia.